All right, everybody's hitting refresh on their phones and their computers on Wednesday night, trying to find out what is Nico Iamaliava's status for the game against Georgia on the SEC availability report listed as questionable. But if you look at other factors, you listen to what Josh Heupel has been saying, it sure sounds like Nico's going to play. So let's talk about his prize pick square for this game against Georgia. If you're not playing prize picks already, download that app. Play $5, get $50 instantly when you use the code Staples. Ari, how big of a game does Nico need to have for Tennessee to beat Georgia? Yeah, I think he has to have a pretty good game. And the hope, Andy, obviously, is that he's healthy enough to finish it, right? And I know there's yeah. some, as we're, as we're filming this uh, right now on Thursday, November 14th, around noon, you know, that questionable spot's there, and there have been reports that they don't think he's going to play, and it seems like he's going to, but, you know, this is a pretty risky square if you uh, like to live dangerously like Austin Powers. You know what I mean? Like, you you, you don't know, A, if he's going to start the game, and B, if he's going to finish it. So I, I think that Tennessee uh, hopes that they have him uh, fully available and fully healthy to go in this game because it's a, it's a season-defining game for both teams. Um and of course, if he does play, you're going to need a nice game out of him, especially a week removed from going to uh, Mississippi and watching Ole Miss pass all over the, the Georgia secondary. Yeah. Now his, his prize picks number for passing yards is not enormous here. It's 188 and a half yards. And then if you look at, at what Nico has been giving you in terms of passing yardage, most games, that's kind of right about where he lands. So this is. Not a low number. Like, I know you're thinking to beat Georgia, he needs to throw all over them. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think Tennessee's offense is, is more based on Dylan Sampson battering you on the ground and then Nico hitting some timely throws as the game goes on and that defense holding the other team down. Like, I don't see yeah. this being a particularly high-scoring game. If you were to go less than, I don't necessarily think you're saying that Tennessee's going to lose the game here. Yeah. Also, too, like, Tennessee's issues in the past with Nico this year have been hitting deep balls and yeah. guys have been getting behind defenses and they just haven't been connecting. So I think what you feel about this number, Andy, is uh, basically a, a play on chance of whether or not you think they're going to correct that this week and that their timing and the accuracy is going to be a, yeah. uh, those issues are going to be a thing of the past because I do feel like if Nico does hit a few big plays over the top, which I think are going to be there for Tennessee, especially because of those accuracy issues and how Georgia's probably going to play them, then you're probably going to get to that number uh, in a pretty competitive and interesting game. I think we think it's going to be a slog, Andy, but yeah. I do think that there are going to be opportunities for Tennessee to hit a few shots downfield, and it's going to be up to Nico and what you think of his accuracy to, to connect on those. When Georgia plays offenses from this family, and by this family I mean the the – Art Briles Baylor offense, which is what Ole Miss runs, it's what Tennessee runs, it's what Mississippi State runs. When Georgia plays offenses of this family, they tend to try to keep everything in front of them. They they tend to try, like last resort, don't get beat by the deep ball. You saw Ole Miss throw underneath a lot, and there was a lot of cushion. In the past, Tennessee hasn't gotten much cushion when they played Georgia, but that may be because Tennessee's offense wasn't as potent in the run game because Georgia had better players on defense. I think they might get a little bit of cushion here. I don't think it'll be as much as Ole Miss got, because I think Ole Miss has probably got better receivers than Tennessee. But I do think the deep ball is going to be tough, which is why I keep looking at that less than, because I don't know that they're going to hit any deep balls. Again, though, I don't think they have to hit any huge deep balls to win the game. I think they could win it in a grinded-out slog, but... If you're talking about Nico putting up numbers, you're going to have to hit one or two of those. And I, I, that's, that's one I'd be a little bit worried about here. Yep, absolutely. And that's kind of going to be the name of the game here. So we'll see how it goes. Cannot wait. Athens, Georgia, between the hedges. Tennessee, Georgia, lot on the line when the Vols play the Bulldogs.